Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa and I'm so thankful you are here for a what sold on flip video. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm really excited to get back into the groove of flip and be sending in hopefully like a box a month. That would be the goal. My, my problem right now is sourcing items for inexpensive amounts, actually just getting to the thrift store in general. I've been preoccupied with other things, not only with my full-time job, but just other side hustles. So I'm hoping I can get back into the groove of flip and start posting these videos a little bit more often. I will link the previous video up above in the corner, one of these corners. So this video is going to be everything that sold on flip since May 13th, 2022, all the way up into today's date, which is August 24th, 2022. So the first item that sold on flip was this American Eagle men's like button down top. My payout was four dollars and about 30 cents this was an item that i got from a men's not like rescue box it wasn't from thread up but it was the joe mars version of like rescue but there really wasn't any flaws for a lot of the men's items and i do not remember my cost of goods for any of these items in this video it's just been so long since i last sent in a box to flip. We have this pair of American Eagle denim shorts. My payout here was six dollars and about 40 cents um not too bad a majority of these items are from my og flip seller we'll get into my new seller on flip at the end of this video next we have this pair of like orange j gel pants also from jomar and my payout was ten dollars and fifty cents for these then we have this really cute lovers and friends size medium top my payout was fifteen dollars and seventy five cents this top was so stinking cute. I wish it would have like fit me nicely or I totally would have kept it myself. It was beautiful, but I knew Lovers and Friends is a very popular brand. Basically 10 times my money for it since I only paid about $2. And yeah, so it's fantastic. And then we have this pair of J. Crew denim shorts and my payout was $6.30. And then this is a brand I don't think I've ever picked up before, but it's Neiman Marcus. It was a really cute skirt with like a belt around the waist. It was like an attached belt. It was very cute, very soft, very cozy skirt. And my payout was $13.30. So that was actually a really great flip. Hence the name of the app, Flip, because that's literally what I'm doing is I'm flipping clothes on the app. Then we had this Eileen Fisher kind of emerald green skirt it reminded me of like it wasn't super thick material it wasn't wool it wasn't silk it was just like a typical kind of body fitting skirt i almost kept this and wore it to a conference but it wasn't super flattering on me and i'm glad i got a payout of ten dollars and 35 cents for it and i just didn't have to like worry about it and then we have this pair of torrid bombshell jeans my payout was seven dollars for them Torrid used to do really good and I think it sold for a really decent price at $20. But I remember when, when I was selling more on like Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay, I would get like $30, $40 for Torrid. It was fantastic. Now it doesn't really sell for that much. And then we have this pair of American Eagle skinny jeans and my payout was $5.25. Really not bad. I don't think I will send in too many pairs of American Eagle because the payout versus what I'm getting and the seller is getting it's just not really worth my time and my investment then this american eagle top so unfortunately my payout was zero dollars because this was in the box i sent to the new seller and i had to pay whatever my payout would have been towards shipping so that was five dollars my payout should have been five dollars but i had to cover a portion of the nine dollar shipping and you'll see in another sale that I also had to pay an extra $4 out of my commission to pay for that shipping. And then this White House black market skirt, it was very cute. I wish it would have been my size. I love plaid things, but I got a great payout at $7 for it. And it's really, hey, that's not bad for a White House black market. Then we have another pair of J. Crew shorts. This is a second pair and my payout was $6.65 on these shorts. Here's a pair of Eileen Fisher. They were like 
gaucho style pants, very flowy, very thin. You would almost have to wear Spanx or something underneath them to not show off your skin. They were that thin, but I got a great payout at $13.30. I actually think that just covered my cost of goods because I bought these from a closet liquidation sale that someone was having. It was a very bad buy. I tried to sell them for months and months and months on my own and it just never, you know, came to anything. So I'm glad I finally got something out out of it and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now this North Face jacket, I am not pleased with how it sold. It sold for my payout of $2. Should have been $6, but $4 had to cover the other shipping. This is from the new seller I've been consigning with on Flip. And I can't believe she sold this jacket for $15. This jacket was from my own personal collection or my own personal wardrobe. And I wish I would have just kept it versus only getting $2 or six minus the shipping because it just like wasn't a great deal. I am glad I'm trying different sellers on Flip. However, I don't like it because then I get a seller like this who just like doesn't know how to price the items and sells them for too cheap or maybe sends out too highly discounted of offers and then I get left with $2 because it's just like, why did you sell this jacket for $15? You could have just held out and got way more for a North Face jacket. So I'm not super pleased and honestly my box is not performing well with this new seller and I sent her a lot of great items. So it is disappointing and I don't think I'll consign with her again. I'll probably just send more boxes to my OG flip seller that I've been consigning with for quite some time now. And then we have this pair of Hollister shorts. These were some teeny tiny shorts. I certainly don't even think I could get one thigh into the entire shorts if you like cut out the middle. They were so small. But I did get a payout of $8 for these. And this is what's so annoying is that the North Face jacket sold for $15. These sold for $20. And it's like, why? Why did that happen? <sighs> I'm not going to rant about it. There's literally nothing I can do at this point And I can just not consign with her in the future. And then the last item was a torrid pair of shorts. My payout was $6.80, so I am pleased with that. And for a lot of these, I'm just glad I was able to finally get a payout for them and be able to reinvest that money into my business. So the total payout for all of these items, it was $122.90. It was a total of 16 items. I did not break it down as, you know, per item, like what the sales were. I didn't calculate my cost of goods, like the last video. I just honestly didn't keep track and I haven't been keeping track of Flip that much. I really just transferred the money into my bank account to pay off um, some debt from the Amazon business and that's really just what I've been using that money for. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if you are still using Flip, how you like it, how much you've made off of it, and what you find has been selling well on the app. That's something I would really like to figure out is what does better and what sellers do better on the app. If you're a flip seller, let me know. I would love to see if I can consign with you. But thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's free and it really does help out my YouTube channel and I'm so, so, so thankful for it. But enjoy the rest of your day wherever you're watching this video and I'll see you on my next one real soon. Bye!